What's up guys? Uh, so today I'm going to take you on a little tour of uh, my wintertime breeding pens. Uh, there's red and apple apple in the background. Uh, so our winter, I'm in central Ohio. Our winters are kind of hit and miss, but uh, basically I know for the next two weeks it's going to be be well below freezing every night. So we've got to have our birds inside. I just put them inside this crappy little building here. Uh, <clears throat> take you in here. And in this building built all these pens uh, 12 pens they're four foot by three foot uh, you'll notice that it's all Buckeyes up here on top well and that's down the bottom but in each pen there's just one female one female then there's a males that'll get moved around from pen to pen so that I can uh, pedigree breed these birds I'll know who the father is of all the chicks I hatch and the mother uh, down here on the bottom, I see some lion dots. It's kind of dark down there, though. There's another buck out there. There's the white lion dots. You'll notice they're, they're in big groups. I'm not trying to pedigree them. I'm really just trying to improve my buckeyes a lot. That's why I'm doing this pedigree breeding on them. Uh, so I just use these small waters, like the old glass jar waters, because if they happen to get a little bit of frozen up at night, I just stick them in a hot bucket of water and de -thaw them. As opposed to a lot of system, like an automatic watering system would be great, except for if it froze up, I'd have a heck of a mess on my hands. Yeah. Look at me, guys. Some beautiful birds. Uh, I really just, I really like the Buckeyes. Um, let's see, what else is there? I got these lights. Three lights are on 16 hours a day. And I've got two heat lamps down there. I only run one during the day, both of them at night. Just from one of them little cozy coop things there. Makes a little bit of heat, not a lot. Uh, these birds just got moved in here yesterday. Uh, I should have had them in here a week ago, but my work schedule's been been hectic and I haven't been able to get it done. But the birds that this, like this, this brewster will get moved down to this hen in about two days, about every two days I'll move them back and back up there. But when they're outside, for the last two months he's been with those two birds anyways so i know that any of the first things they get will definitely be his so i'll be gonna definitely gonna keep my pedigree straight these guys all just got fed and watered as you can see they're all out here this bird she she went into a mold about a week ago so there's a good chance i'm not gonna get no eggs out of her and I'd, you can't tell by looking at her but this bird i really really like so she's in here and hopefully she'll come out of the molt before i get done breeding and i'll get a few a few eggs out of her uh, i like to get my I like to have my birds hatched by the end of February for my fall shows, late fall shows like the Ohio Nationals. Uh, this this rooster here, as you can see, he actually gets three hens. I don't know why I chose him for these three. It's just the three I decided to go best together. So I have to get moved around a little bit more. And you can see I got more white wine dots in there than I wanted. But I just couldn't part with any of the other females. I think I got a. Trio and a quad of the partridge wine dots down here. There's a trio there, quad. I just moved them in here. I think I, last year when I did this, I didn't use those bottom pens, and it's looking like it's too dark in there. I'm gonna have to uh, put a little bit of light down here in these bottom pens. Ooh, light flickered. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to put some light down there so they get a, more, a little bit more light. I have to put something down here lower that shines in there. I really don't like how dark it is in there. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, I just use these any generic feed cups, hang them on the side. 